What's up people? So for my next project, I've decided to build a log cabin YouTube studio and turn this space into this. it begins <laughs> so we're starting to put down the first uh, what are they called the foundation beams oh by the way meet Ben Ben's gonna be helping me with this project good lad he also um, lay all of this concrete base uh, about two days ago so it's all nice and level and ready to go So all the supplies for the cabin were delivered the other day. Um, it's all stacked up in the garage here, masses amounts of wood. Um, that's all the main section, so the extension bit. Uh, you got like the doors and windows over there, all the like roof felting. Um, and then these, these here are the panels for the floor and the roof, which is all fully insulated. So the plan with this build, I want to have multiple places to film. Um, ideally, my desk is gonna go in this corner over here. And then in this back section, I'm gonna have like a little lounge, nice big flat screen on the wall, a couple of sofas back here, uh, and then a little like storage racking and a little bar in the corner. Um, yeah, so let's see how it's gonna all shape up. Cue the build laps. <laughs> Tongue action there. <laughs> oh, no, you want yeah. to oh, no, it's not. Don't put that on. Oh, oh God. <laughs> right, day three, and we've almost finished the roof. Uh, we've put in the roof boards, the insulation the particle board, then the membrane under here, that plastic, and then the roof tiles on top. And then we're just finishing off and putting these fascia boards on now. And then what are we gonna do next, Ben? The guttering? Got the guttering, yeah, that's right, it. That's the, the next gutter one, next. the guttering next. All right, nice one. <laughs> So, day four, and we're going to paint the log cabin today, but with the magic of YouTube, we can speed it up like this. I actually forgot to film the second part of this, so this is at the end. But anyway, on with the video. <laughs> 
This is mum delivering the teas and coffees. So had the sandwiches. Morning. Oh, we got egg sandwiches. Oh, thank egg you sandwiches. So much. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I eat them all now. I will do. Thank you ever so much. So what are we doing today, Ben? Just doing the insulation for the floor, then prep for the floorboards. Yeah. And don't! <laughs> <laughs> He's gone all camera shy. So that so that's the insulation. This is the insulation right. for the underneath for the uh, of the boards that we're gonna put down once this is in. Okay, so you're cutting those to size. Cutting them to size, fitting them with the little clips which just gives us the spaces in between. Yeah. And then boards to go on top. And the, oh I see. And then we nail all the boards down that are out here, right? Correct, yes. So it's day six and we're putting in the power and electrical supply into the cabin. So yeah, come and have a look, meet the team. All right, mate, this is Neil. Hello, yeah. um, everyone. So Neil, so, so far we've already put in the fuse box from the sub main. You want to just show yeah, us how yeah. that works yeah, down yeah. there? So the sub main that's fed from the garage. Yeah. Uh, over to this little consumer unit over here. Yeah. As you can see, it's turned off at the moment because my apprentice is second fixing the sockets. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Um, and we've got so sockets spread around the cabin uh, and a heater supply over there and then a lighting circuit that comes up in conduit over this side that feeds the lights. Yeah, so. well, I'm dead impressed with it so far. Yeah. What's your website now, Gay? Okay? Uh, it's uh, HGO Electrical. Um, uh, HGO. Is it? <laughs> At, I, I can't remember, Jay. I think it's HGO. I'll put it in the description. Electrical. Yeah, <laughs> you put it in the description, Jay. <laughs> yeah. HGO Electrical, if you want uh, any spot work done in the Worcester area, Neil's your man. Yeah. So, thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs> right, so it's day seven, and uh, Ben's back. You right, Ben? Yeah, yeah. very well. Yeah, so we're uh, painting the inside of the cabin today uh, with an off-white. So let's crack on. So day eight, carpets are down and the build is finally finished. I'm so chuffed with it. Um, but before I give a full studio tour, uh, smash that like and subscribe button down there. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, really appreciate it if you support the channel. Uh, now that's done, let's move in and do the big reveal. So I got so carried away with the exterior build, I completely forgot we've still got to install the log burner. Uh, so it's day nine and we've got Dan and Steve here from Pro Stoves. Come check it out. installed today then yep so today we've got a charmwood air 3 on a on a log store um, in its own pod which is uh, specially designed for outdoor buildings yeah. all right well yeah should we light it for the first time and see what yeah, it's like give it a give it a go going. if it wants to go well that works a treat So it's day 10 and we're putting in the little kitchenette in the corner here. Got Neil and his team back from HGO Electrical. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs>
fire, that's snug. Looks great. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. So it's day 11 and we're putting the finishing touches to the kitchen units. Jack is just fitting the tap and uh, we've cut all the holes for the sink and the hob. Meanwhile, uh, down the other end, we've got Ash and Neil attaching the wall brackets so we can mount the TV on the wall uh, in the lounge down this end. Yeah. Uh, as you said, Ash is, uh, Jack is doing the uh, sink and he's getting the tap in. Um, very, very moody because uh, if he wants to go to the pub and he's got to go and sort his wedding venue out. <laughs> <laughs> on a Friday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, day 12, and the kitchen is finally finished. Really happy with how it's looking. I've also finished setting up the TV and lounge down the end here. But one thing I've noticed is it sounds super echoey in here. So I've decided to add some acoustic foam. And if you come outside, you'll see I've set up uh, something to attach all the foam to the ceiling. I've got over 500 acoustic foam tiles and the plan is to attach all of these using these little sticky pads. So it's quite simple, you just take one foam tile, get the velcro sticky pads and stick them one in each corner, like this. Then get the opposite side of the velcro and attach that with a sticky side facing up. Now we put it on the ceiling. Just take each four corners and stick it right on. Like that. <laughs> right, so only 500 more to go. So it's the end of day 13 and I've just finished putting the last few acoustic foam tiles on the ceiling. I also realised that this has an added benefit of helping to insulate and keep the log cabin warm, which I hadn't really thought of before. Um, but also it has made quite a big difference to the echo in here I think. When you come inside, let me know in the comments, I, I think it sounds a lot better um, especially down the end here you can really hear the difference uh, also I finished setting up the office and editing studio here my next job is cable management because if you look down under here <laughs> I've got an absolute spider's web of cables to sort out so I got these cable tidies from Amazon and somewhere I've got a load of uh, cable ties, so this evening I'm going to try and tidy this whole mess up and then I can uh, show how all this works. So day 14 and I've just finished all the cable management. I seriously underestimated how difficult and how long this would take because having the two sit stand desks that move independently, it was quite difficult to get this to work. But um, yeah, I'm really happy how it turned out. Looks really neat under there. So yeah, that means now I can move on to 
making a few personal touches to the studio. And the studio is finally complete. I'm super stoked with how it's all turned out. This has been a huge project and the 14 days has actually been spread out part time over approximately five months. So if you've enjoyed the journey, hit that subscribe button and support the channel and see what else I've got coming up. There's loads of ideas in the pipeline. And also, if you've got any questions about how any of the kit in here works, ask away in the comments. I'll help where I can. And look out for, I may do another video with a detailed tour of all the kit and gadgets everywhere, uh, if you're interested. Um, in the meantime, yeah, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.